Now the final feature I'd like to show you for customizing Microsoft Excel 2007 is to take a better look at Excel options. If you remember, you'll find Excel options up here in your Office button. Down here at the bottom, Excel options. When you select that, it will open up the Excel Options dialog box. Now, Excel Option basically replaces Excel Preferences. For Excel 2007, Excel Options is a new feature. Notice that over here on the left, we have a listing of various categories, and under each of these categories, when you click them or select them, you will see other options that you can set. Notice that under Popular, this is where you can go ahead and set your color scheme. You can also set up what you want your font to be for new workbooks, as well as font size, the default view of your sheets, etc. And if you kind of look through this, you'll see that there are quite a few different options that you can set under Formulas. And we'll talk a little bit more about formulas later in this tutorial. And notice that here you've got various calculation options, work with formulas, air checking for within formulas where you can set up what you want your color to be, air checking rules that you can select to, to turn on or deselect to turn off. Under proofing, you have all sorts of options that deal with proofing and correcting, automatically correcting your documents in both spelling as well as various formats and text. You have your save category, which allows you to set up how you want your document to save. And quite a few options there. Notice I have save auto recover information every 10 minutes. You might want to adjust that setting higher or lower, all the way up to 120. You can also go into advanced. And within advanced, notice that there are all sorts of options in here. In fact, some of these options can be applied to just a workbook. You can turn on and off the scroll bars. You can show your sheet tabs or not show them. You can group dates in the auto filter menu for objects to show all or to hide objects and show nothing. You can even go down and set up your options for a worksheet by showing row and column headers for individual worksheets that might be within a certain workbook that you have selected up here. You can change your grid line colors as well as show column and row headers and grid lines for individual worksheets. There are other options here that you can set. And notice that if you go to Customize, we've seen Customize earlier when we were customizing the Quick Access Toolbar. You also have Add-ins as a category that you can select, Trust Center, and Resources. And we've looked at Resources earlier in this tutorial as well. What I'd like you to do, and I'm going to go ahead and say OK to this and close it, is go ahead and open up a new worksheet and then access through your Office button your Excel options and spend some time looking at the various options, setting them, turning them on and off, and then going to your worksheet and seeing how those options are applied. Now this concludes our Excel customization chapter in this tutorial. So I hope you've enjoyed it and please move on to the next chapter in the next movie.